But just weeks before the law set to go into effect, Massachusetts lawmakers finally came to an agreement about an animal welfare law set for January. 12 News consumer reporter Gina Marini breaks down the agreement and what this means for people heading to the store. Gina. It seems Massachusetts residents won't be scrambling to find eggs come January. That's because lawmakers came to an agreement about changes to an animal welfare law. The emergency preamble is adopted. Monday, both the Massachusetts Senate and House of Representatives accepted and enacted a compromise to an animal welfare law that's set to go into effect come January. Bill Bell, general manager of New England Brown Egg Council, says this is good news for Bay Staters. It means that it will be a normal January 1st and 2nd, and there will be sufficient eggs in the stores. The compromise pushes back some pork product standards, banning cruelly confined animals from January to August, giving farmers more time. As we previously reported, lawmakers agreed to make adjustments to the hen housing portion of the law by giving the option of using multi-tiered aviaries with one square foot usable floor space per hen, but were log jammed when it came to the parts about some pork products and who is responsible for enforcing the new standards. If lawmakers didn't come to an agreement before the law was set to go into effect, there would be little eggs available on store shelves that comply with the law. That's according to Bell. About 10 percent of what they need. In 2016, Massachusetts voters approved the animal welfare law, which puts new standards on the treatment of animals used for meat and egg production. And Governor Charlie Baker is expected to sign it into law. Live in studio, Gina Marini, 12 News.